behave myself. I'm going to be professional. Just because I'm the same as Lauren. We're going to break nope. you guys up. I <laughs> Sarah's going to get you. Okay. We'll talk See, to you. we are broken up. They won't even let us do interviews together. I know. We're just going to sit next to each other. Too much sexual tension. <laughs> It's almost as if she manipulated. <laughs> well, if Stefano has anything to do with it, maybe. Yeah. Well, let's see. I have I have heard that I think the youngest of baby so far in history survived six months. It's almost six months. Because uh, actually, a friend of mine, his daughter was born, had to be born in six months. And they were able to incubate her, and she's now 24. So that's an interesting story. Yeah, it's possible. That is. And it's the right age to get involved with the baby switch. We fully expect her to come back. So we're going to analyze the poker face right here. Oh, and Josh, we talked to Josh. He says that he assumed that you were with him the whole t time you were gone. Remember how you almost... Yes. The fur coat? Yep. So he asked me, he said, oh, I assumed she was with me the whole time she was gone. So. All right. Huh. You never no, came, Josh. You went in and you never came back out. I didn't. <laughs> yes, I. I <laughs> Roman has had me locked up in his room that whole two years I was off the show. <laughs> Some guys are like that. <laughs> we thought he was having a dry spell. No, 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 he was never <laughs> here. <laughs> me. What about this whole business of Sydney? Is there any chance Sydney is really your baby? My life is great. Like the baby that you might have loved. I love the right. Would you like it if she was your baby? I would love it if she was your baby. I love my city. Love you guys are so cute. People talk about how she responds well with you when you're on the yeah. camera together. Yeah. She must know your new mom. And she, she does, she's, she's so great. And, and it, it's, you know, kids are funny. They pick, they like, you know, it's almost out of your control. Yeah. I, we have a couple. So. Yeah, you know, right. No, working with, with oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what's one, one thing about daytime. They have actors who are like babies. Elaborate on that. It's, it's um, you know, it depends because it does go usually the ones they do hire really want to be there. Okay. You know, of course, everybody has their day, right? Every day. That's normal. But for the most part, they certainly outshine us when they're on camera, especially the little, little ones when they hit their feet. Or uh -huh. like the first Sydney's when they hit their cues all the time and you're like, did you know? You're just little. How yeah. do you know? <laughs> How is that possible? It's just a product. So you can get really, really great you know, reactions out of it. Some might be left, but... <laughs> but you guys must have to kind of ad lib a little more because you don't really know what they're going to do. I actually would tell you, Chloe and Brady actually do have a scene. Yeah, the first Sydney's you would come, um, you know, because they're babies, you don't know when they're going to cry or, or talk or, or see a light and just start jibber jabbering. You kind of have, 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 have to work with that. You have to know your lines really, really well, especially when you're working with a baby and you're just working with them. You have to talk for two pages. I, I feel like if you don't know your lines so well, the baby interrupting you will throw you off. Oh, okay. Have, was was working pregnant really really challenging? I mean, you look like at some sometimes when you were like munching on crackers. And uh, they wanted me to um, look like I was on the, on, on the show when I was eating. They wanted it to look like Nicole was gaining weight. Oh, oh, okay. We thought maybe you were more than that. No, no, no. They just wanted it to look like I was. Oh, so they were trying to cover up for your baby. Okay, well that, that's interesting. Yeah. And then I, got, I had to stop it because I'm not going to be in emotional scenes trying to eat things and make any sense. So, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Sure. Are you enjoying your scenes with Kinsey? Oh, she's great. I, I really hope we work together more. She's lovely, wonderful.
wasn't something that the producers came to me and said, look, you're going to change. You're different. This is happening. It was actually something that I, you know, saw in the scripts. The way in which they were writing this guy was very atypical from the way in which Brady was being portrayed. He was, he's been vanilla. He really has. And all of a sudden, he's just like a new flavor that the character really has never been before. Mm -hmm. I personally couldn't be happier. Oh, people, I love it. The fans couldn't be happier. He's just, it's interesting. Because he is, you know, he's really a combination of so many different families. And given his past, it really hasn't been examined yet. I mean, he had, he had this incredible backstory of getting addicted to cocaine, yeah. divorcing the love of his life, and just cutting ties off with the town, and going to rehab. And it was really never examined. And finally, it's starting to come out what kind of turmoil this guy went through. Right. And Nicole was the one that just pushed his buttons a little too far, you know. It's starting to spill out. And it's fun. And, and it doesn't stop at Vivian. I mean, Brady, this isn't like a temporary change in this guy. This seems to be, uh, I may be speaking too broadly, but it, it very well may be his personality from now on. That would be awesome. It was up to this actor, I keep it that way. Well, yeah. Because it's being, what, everybody loved you before, but this is being very well received. And, um, I've, what, I've received nice... You were too much like the Dalai oh, Lama before. That's okay. <laughs> what, yeah. about, what about your one-liner jokes? Are those you or is that the script? I mean, you are so funny in the, the things. Like when you, so recently you said something like, I don't know who stopped you, but I hope they get another whack at it. And it's just gestures and everything. It just, um... <laughs> Everyone's accusing, especially Maggie, of Brady's becoming a bit like his grandfather. You know, oh. you know the old Victor, the, the ruthless, you know, the guy that could just stand up to Stefano any day of the week. Uh -huh. And Brady seems to be taking on a lot of qualities of, of his grandfather, which includes sarcastic, one lining you know. Um, that this is actually I'm portraying Brady as a, as a man of few words, but when he says something, it means something. Like, it's just, it's just me. he's, a, he's a different man from the others in the sense that he doesn't have a lot to say, but when he says it, it's, it's going to be, it's going to affect people and mean something. I, uh, I'm very, very happy with, it, with the direction that they're taking this guy. I've never really gotten a chance to play this guy. I, mean, I was the, the do-gooder on Passions for six years. Ethan Winthrop never did anything anything wrong in six years. So it, it's been it's been really fortuitous for myself to get this storyline to be trusted. Well, we are enjoying watching it. Yeah. Can't wait to see more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, thanks for coming. Take care. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank